Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another Odd Ones Out reaction. This one is called My Girlfriend is Kinda Odd. Go watch the original video, go subscribe to Odd Ones Out, make sure this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And yeah, we can get this started in three, two, one, let's go. You know how when people get into a new relationship, they go through a honeymoon phase? Well, me and my girlfriend went through a is the person I'm dating a deranged murderer phase. When she first really? came over to my house, she thought my Nintendo figure collection was something only a psychopath would have. Psychopath. That's right. When you've been living yeah. alone for so long, sometimes you just need to buy friends and put them on display. And sometimes you do this by turning people into lampshades or chairs. <laughs> Luckily, I Damn. just hunky reptile figures. Gift doesn't actually I love that, a psychopath. That animated anymore, Bowser looks so cool. Which is good, you know, because I don't want anyone to know the truth. However, early on in our relationship, there were some things I did that she didn't like. Like one time I was unloading the dishwasher and I was putting away the knives and Gift looked at me all concerned and I asked, What's the matter, huh? huh? I don't know what made don't her play with the knives. Of the room like that. What are you doing? Don't play with knives. Knife at her. It's like fucking <laughs> yeah, Edward Edward Scissorhands up in this. Across that she didn't like me holding multiple knives and told me to cut it out. But I didn't know if she was a psychopath either, though, because there are definitely some things about her that made me question her sanity. Like how she owns a $2,000 animal mascot costume, Whoa. but she hates sports. That's weird. One time when I was over at her apartment, she sports? I was looking through her freezer and nice. she had bagel bites. I wish that was I my asked, girlfriend, because hey uh, esports e are only there's my there's favorite. In there, and she tells me, no, 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 don't look in there. Uh, we don't have any bagel bites. You ate them all, remember? But in my mind, all I'm thinking is, hold on. What the fuck Odd ones does out. have in her freezer that she doesn't want me to see? A freezer is not a place where you tell someone, don't look in there. You say that about underwear drawers and toilets. That's it. I don't know what we yeah. did for the next 10 minutes. Because all I was thinking about was how many severed hands were in Gift's freezer. Oh but my god, I the thought, Thanos okay, Infinity Gauntlet. Maybe I'm overreacting. I optimistically asked, hey, um, babe, are you, um, perhaps keeping a surprise for me in the freezer? Like a birthday cake? My birthday's not for another five months, but that's the only thing I could think a person would hide in a freezer that wouldn't make them a psychopath. And she said, nope. So what's in there? Don't huh. worry about it. Do you not see how this looks? If the doors weren't locked, Yeah, that's kind of sus. That's kind of suspicious. Over this, so I held up the knife I had from the previous joke and said, what's in the freezer? And she went, it's a dead snake. You had a dead snake. Dead snake. Next to the bagel bits. So fun fact about my gift, she owns eight snakes. Mm-hmm. Apparently she used to own nine. I've learned that snakes are yeah. a very low maintenance pet. You only have to feed them once every three years. And if you cut them in half, they turn into two snakes. Yeah, so Seriously? I have no clue how one of her snakes could have died. And another fun fact, snakes lack the part of the brain that feels love. They're physically incapable of showing affection. So your pet hog nose would sell your soul to snake Satan for one dead mouse. So she already has eight pets that don't love her, and potentially her boyfriend too if she doesn't get rid of that freezer snake. At least my reptiles aren't dead in a freezer. Yeah, Bowser would only questions. Uh, Why do you have a kidnap snake princesses, that's it. How many other dead animals are in your freezer? What the heck's wrong with you? And she said, I wanted to get him taxidermied, but the person I wanted to have do it was busy. Also, there's dead rats in there for my snakes. Oh, that explains why the bagel bites tasted so funny. Yeah. What's extremely gross is that the snake is still in there to this day. Wow. I don't know how long the snake was in there before, but it's been well over a year since that incident. It's honestly great, though, because now she can never complain about the state of my refrigerator. I'll have potatoes that are sprouting more potatoes. Wow. Grapes that are getting me tipsy. And if she points any of it out, I just respond oh, with, God. Oh, you think my refrigerator's disgusting? Yeah, Medusa? Uh-huh. Look at she, yours. Oh, my fridge There's a fucking snake in there. <laughs> really? You can't think of a single reason? She said, no, I said the fridge smells bad, not the freezer. I said, I will flush your snake down the toilet and give you a swirly. Now that's the sign of true love, kids. But for all I know, she could totally still- Hilarious. After oh, damn. dealing with the snakesicle situation, there's some other things I've learned from being in a relationship. 
apparently there are rules and etiquette Biff. when eating food. And my girlfriend sure does love and enforce those rules. I was taught, don't put your elbows on the table, close your mouth when you're chewing unless you want to talk to someone, and mm -hmm. make sure you eat something green every once in a while. But according to her, there's more than that. Like, did you know that bagel bites aren't a part of a balanced diet? <laughs> we were at a restaurant Bruh. one time, pre-COVID, and when we got our food, Gift took a napkin and put it on her lap and told me to do that as well because you're supposed to do that in a society. I looked around the restaurant and said, but... No one else has a napkin on their laps. And she said, that's because you wanted to eat at a Denny's. I didn't know why she was such a stickler for table manners until I went to her family's place for things. Damn, at least I don't. I my girlfriend does not care about that shit, so that's good. In their house, and it all made sense. Oh, they're fancy and collect staircases. Wow. Going to my girlfriend's home for Thanksgiving was the first time I met a partner's parents. And I tried really, really hard to get them to like me. Because I'm kissing their firstborn child. I'm in the house. Dad's watching sports. Hilarious. I love sports. I lied. Mom's working on a puzzle. I love puzzles. They used to call me the puzzle king in high school. Her brother's playing Mario Odyssey. I love Mario. Oh, wait. I don't have to impress you. Mario. I'm stuck at this game. In what? Effort to get them to like me more, <laughs> Are, Odyssey's still good. I want to be, I, I want Odyssey too. Honestly. Small and prickly and doesn't like to be touched. Odyssey. <laughs> Just like her. <laughs> Ooh, ow, babe. Hilarious. Oh, babe. It was a joke. It was a joke, babe. I'm fine. Gift's Thanksgiving meal was the polar opposite of my family's Thanksgiving. My family does Thanksgiving with two other families, and they all come together with mashed potatoes, and everyone gets in a line with paper plates, and we all have one big mashed potato potluck. Then I sit at the kids' table Dang. to avoid talking about politics. Gift's family used real plates and had candles, and everyone puts a napkin on their lap. I felt like Shrek at Fiona's castle. They had three forks of various sizes, but I still wanted three to like forks? Me, so I wasn't about to point out that it made no sense to use three different forks to eat a meal. This must be why Gif is so afraid of knives. All these cutlery options are bringing up childhood traumas of going up all the stairs. But Gif's family was so Damn. crazy that I actually didn't even meet them on Thanksgiving. My memory just filled in that we were having a Thanksgiving Crazy. Meal. Gif read this script and was like, you know you didn't meet them on Thanksgiving, right? That was just a regular Tuesday brunch. That wasn't even a meal to be thankful for? Why do we talk about politics so much? Why? One of the big political debates we have is that Gift tells me I wear dad socks. But dad I don't think socks? But I understand my genius. You see, if I buy and wear the same pair of socks for the rest of my life, I'll never have to worry about matching socks ever again. So I've already picked out the socks that I'm going to be wearing at my funeral. And as we were wrapping yep. up our non-thankful meal, I got up from the table and Gift's dad said, Hey, I have those socks. So I guess she's right about some things. And her yeah. dad totally likes me now. In the end, as long as I make Gif happy, then I know her parents will like me, no matter what socks I wear. Yes. And as long as you're with someone who makes you a happier person, then they're a good partner too. Yeah. Aww. The dead snake they've had in their freezer for almost three years. All the dead snake. Well, hello, yeah. Everyone. I uh, know it's been a while, but I hope you mm -hmm. all enjoyed this video. There were lots of things to learn in my first serious relationship, and if you have any advice for being in your first serious relationship, then let me know in the comments. I'm sure me and a bunch of other commenters will find that helpful. Fun fact, Gif and I wrote this video together, so if you didn't like it, um, that's on her. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's on both of you. Freezer. I'm Huge kidding, I'm kidding. To my amazing team for once again bringing these animated anecdotes to life. I couldn't have made this video without them. And on top of this, lots of amazing people. Cafe Chaos on Kickstarter. We sincerely appreciate oh, get all of your the editor. Nice. You finally sent out pre-orders, and if you didn't get the chance to support the Kickstarter, you can now find all the items on my online store. Link in the description. We do have some extra Kickstarter exclusives available, such as the bento box or the animated expansion pack. Be sure to grab them nice. soon because once they're gone, they're gone forever. Thank you again for watching this video, and make sure that you and your partner wear your masks and your seatbelt. All right, that, 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 that was really awesome. That was really good. Anyways, guys, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to All Ones Out. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. There, guys, thanks, to, thanks for watching. Deuces.